Hey everyone, it's Shiz. Today I'm going to show you how to vertex paint. We'll be using two textures and they kind of work like layers. Here's an example of something that I created. So let's go ahead and get started. Open up the shader editor on the top left. Let's close the side panel with N. So let me go ahead and group these together as one object. I'm selecting them all, hitting Control J. We've got the material set. Okay, Shift A, search for image texture. You'll want to do as we did in the previous tutorial. Let's go ahead and do this six times. Since we're bringing in two textures with three different types, you want to use diffuse. Let's minimize it. Roughness and then displacement. And do that for this. The ones on the bottom, let me go ahead and speed this up. Okay, now that you've set that, add in a tribute node. This is what's going to tell or how you're going to assign the um, texture. So I'm calling it blue and then I'll go ahead and delete that. We want to under the vertex colors go ahead and add one. We'll call it the same. Call it blue. And so now when we paint in blue, that's what's going to tell it to paint one material over the other. And then I'll just use white to erase any blue that I have that I don't want. Shift A and add some mix RGB nodes. Connect the top to the top of each color and the bottom three to the lower. Connect the top to the color, the center to the roughness, and the bottom to the normal. I made the background lighter. Let's add a color ramp. Let's add a RGB shader. Connect the displacement up to here, and let's move this over. We'll want to add an invert node. Connect it like this. And remember for later your invert node, um, you'll need that to, you can switch it, so it mess with the settings. I switched it over to vertex paint. I'm selecting the blue. And to see it better, I'm going to switch off the rendered, I'll go into this solid mode, and then I'll start painting. If for some reason you're, you're not able to paint on here like I am, Just go ahead and add some more subdivisions. Go ahead and add some loop cuts here. You can subdivide however you want to do it. Now when we switch over, so you're able to paint on it better. Going to go ahead and fast forward so you don't have to see me loop cut all this and paint around. Once you have it like you want it, you want to move these over and connect your color ramp to all three of them. I'm not getting the effect that I want, so I'm going to turn this down. You can mess with that. Connecting the other two to the color ramps. Now add the bump node here and add a math node. You want to set it to multiply. Connect it here. And we want 
actually we want to pull this in to our bump node and then connect the bump node up to the normal and then our multiply math node up to our displacement we're pretty much done now I went ahead and added a plane, subdivided it, lifted a few things up, and now here I'm playing with the invert and the color ramp. If you set it up, you can see how it's showing where you painted. Let me go ahead and switch over to that. Oh, let me do the plane so you can see it better. And you see where I colored the blue, and you can fade it in and out and that's it hope you guys enjoyed if you have any other questions or comments go ahead and let me know and see you in the next one